Yeah. Heck, man. American Pickers ain't got nothing on me, man. Hello, all you jokers, dumpster divers, trash pickers. Thrifties. It's me, man. We're just all a bunch of junkies. So we did a little uh, treasure hunting. Um, it's snowing to beat heck again out there. Uh, you can go over to our other chat over to Idaho Hillbilly and see all the hoorah with that. Um, if it keeps up like that, we're going to be snowed in again. But we got a whole bunch of junk to, <laughs> to list. I mean, treasures, grid, roast, rusty gold. <laughs> but, uh, so we're going to be doing a lot of listing the next couple of days. But I thought we'd show, uh, we did get out and do a little bit of treasure hunting. The squirt's pretty good stuff, so I thought we'd show that, so... Did you have anything else you wanted to say before we get after it? No, no. Um, <laughs> I can see out the window. You can't. Yeah. So I don't well, it don't matter because we're in here. That's right. I got firewood. Yes. I got to cut a little bit more. Yeah. I, it was a water day. I got water. Man, we got food and we got junk. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And coffee. And coffee. So this, uh, look at this old man. Nice, too. I don't even think it's ever been used. There was a couple of old Forest Service signs that I'm probably keeping for myself in it. My wife gets paranoid. <laughs> but uh, it's an old Forest Service backpack. Um, Prescott National Forest. U.S. Forest Service, man. And it is. It's nice. If it doesn't end up uh, selling, then it'll... Uh, it it'll be little, mine. It has a really neat loop thing on the back. I don't know if you notice that. I noticed that, man. Yeah, quality. It's a yeah, nice little quality, cool. man. It's nice. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. I don't know a couple signs in it. And then, uh, not something we pick up that much, but when I, we seen it, I'm just like, holy smokes, man. That thing is handmade. Um, man, it's very well made. It's an orange velvet. Man, it's, you know, it's older, man. Arizona, or not Arizona, but Arkansas Razorbacks. Isn't it Arkansas? Yes. Yeah, Arkansas Razorbacks. <laughs> Arkansas Razorbacks pillow in the mountains of Idaho in an old, uh, yeah. on an old farm. I'd like to know the story on that one. Because you know, some of the stuff came from our little junk shops. Some came from, it's all, you know, all over. And then this, uh, these are always so nice, man. I just had to grab it. It's a military issued. Um, you know, that warm little hat, I just had to get it. This kitty's all, you gonna get that? Oh, you bet I am. <laughs> Maybe you should, um, model it. Well, I don't think it fit me. It's a seven and a quarter. Oh, okay. Yeah, size seven and a quarter. Weird stuff. So, so I get that, she asked me, you gonna get that? And then she gets this. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> I'm all, you gonna get that? And she's all, oh yeah! <laughs> we don't have any light switches, but um, I would use it. <laughs> yeah, I bet you I would. Miss Kitty, you have, have a reputation on here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so she thought that was pretty cute. And then this, man, and I don't know if I'll sell this either. This thing is, you know, I used to collect the pop bottles, and then uh, the first pop bottle I ever scored was I was driving truck and I was down in Florida and got one of man one of the coolest flea markets I'd ever been to, down in Florida, and I got the old pop bottle, and I had two or three or four of them, and then I looked them up and man they were worth I can't even remember what I got but I got good money for them old pop bottles. This is the kind, and I believe man it's got like the ball you know and it's even got the seal still in there. And then that seals up. I don't exactly know how this works, but man, and then you pop, I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones you pop it. It catches your marble and stuff. Your seal, I guess, goes down into your drink. And then you do it. And then what this say? I can't get my glasses on. Crampton. This is a Crampton and Company. Oh, I can't see it. Trademark. What's it say on the bottom part? Man, look at that thing, dude. Man, I love my bottle. I love digging for bottles, man. I'll tell you what, if I dug that mother up, man, I would just and be... if you've Ooh. never held one of these in your hand, um, the weight yeah. of this is very substantial, and the thickness this of the is glass unreal. is insane. Yeah, the quality and thickness of them yeah. is awesome. Really cool. So that'll be on. And then this thing, man, I just thought was beautiful. And it's, I pulled this mother right off the dang wall. Hey, man, dude, where's my glasses my lot my arms ain't long enough and at 51 it ain't getting no better circo wood that's what it's called circus new york made in the usa but it's old thai 
mounts to your wall tie hanger. Man, it is. It's pretty cool. Pretty dang nice. Uh, and then these, man, I just had to get these. So I was digging through, and it was funny because it was in a bunch of tools. You know, I was digging through, you know, tools. And do you have any idea what these are for, Miss Kitty? Um, no, just scissor tongs. Well, That's they've what I would got. Call them. They actually got a number CC five zero nine two on them. Uh -huh. But uh, but the man, they're the craziest little. And I mean, the way that they're made, they look like those kitchen tools that you and my mom's got. Our you know, they're tongs. yeah, old exactly. Tongs. But these, yeah. just the head on them, is just yeah. crazy. That was kind of cool. I got this little, he ain't worth much, but I had to get him anyway. Man, little, uh, <laughs> little Coca-Cola Classic Bank. I'm probably going to put him on the website on the $5 deal or something, because he's not worth a ton of money. He's kind of, well, he's working, man. Does it take batteries? I don't know for sure. Anyway, man, that was, was that was your um, man. I remember back in the day when Coca Cola stuff, yeah. something like that. Man, we would have took out the right. flea market and cha ching. Mm -hmm. Not so much these days. Yeah. Is that all the? Oh, you know, we got this. And then we, I actually had this on a long time ago, and then I lost it. But this old tool, and we got actually got this from that old gal um, out there between uh, Weezer and Payette. That old gal, she lived in a fifth wheel, and her husband oh, passed okay. away, yeah. and. Yeah. She had these sheds and stuff, man. She was living semi-off grid. She had power and stuff, but uh, she's definitely rough. I mean, she's roughing it, man. She's in her 80s and nice as old gal. And then I've noticed that the uh, um, trailers and stuff were gone, so I don't know if she passed away or whatever. But her husband had put this together. What this is is a tool for cutting your strings when you're, like, out on the back of the tractor, you know, and you're pulling the trailer or whatever, and... You're out there, and you'd use this to cut your strings on your bells, bells of hay and stuff. That's a pretty, pretty dang cool. Very well. Done. Uh, yeah, and kind of primitive, but yet we were just watching a show, and I said, "Hey, that, they're using one of those tools, yeah. man." That was, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. And then, of course, oh wait, I gotta show this. This man, this I, it's another one of those things I really don't want to sell it. And this thing is amazing. Look at that old ice cream maker, man. And that is the, man, all cast. I think that's cast aluminum. I don't know if it's cast, just cast iron. But man, and I mean, and it is complete. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. The label, the only thing is it's missing the one little bottom ring down here that really is not a big deal at all. Man, it is. Well, make me some ice cream. And of course, I'm like, Woo, I'm getting that for me. And then we look it up and we're like, holy crap, cha-ching, I'm selling that, mother. <laughs> yeah, and there's, it seems to have more storage wear on it than you swear. The, the paint, it's the same color on the inside all the way through. The paint isn't So it uh, got, lifted. might have got used a few times, yeah, but for the most right, part, just yeah. sat in the bar until we came yeah. along. And there's a bunch of dust up on the rim, so I took um, a little bit of light cleaner and we went to wipe it. And the, the color was coming off. So oh, that tells me that there wasn't a, a lot, lot of right, a lot water of use. Huh, inside. that's crazy. Yeah. But man, that one, that's a nice one. And it's actually uh, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Should bring pretty good money. Was that all except for books? The books. Okay, I got a uh, a gob. I mean, I was waiting for Life is Good. And that this thing I scored because, man, like the Life is Good t-shirts, which it's got all the sayings. I love all that stuff. I love, I've got a few Life is Good. And they're always usually worth some money. So when I seen this and grabbed it, I thought, yeah, maybe the books are, and it wasn't worth really crap. But, uh, let me just flip through here real quick. But I did get some pretty cool, you know, because books don't sell, man, so I just like to buy them and collect them. But, uh, you got this, uh, nine, this one's pretty, I don't, yeah, I think it was I'm, 74, I'm or, whoa. 78, I'm a little attached to it. You're always attached to everything, Miss Kitty. That's part of the, that's part. She, See, I'm a junker reseller, Miss Kitty. She's a hoarder. Oh. <laughs> hoarder. She wants to keep everything, man. But we did find a book. This was pretty cool. I don't know if I ever told this story. I found a book. And, uh, did I get that one to yard sale? Which I don't book? remember. That, the one that your grandma's already closed oh. in. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. But, uh, so we, uh. We showed this on film once. We, well, we showed it, but we didn't show it. Right. Or tell it. Because we didn't know it yet. Right. So I picked up this, you know. And, I mean, this is living, a living history, northern and mountains in the West High, or in West High. 
<laughs> a living Spit history of northern and mountain west Idaho. Coal oil lamps and cattle in the crops. Tales from the good old days in northern and mountain west Idaho. If you watch our videos or you watch, you know, and if you don't go over to Idaho Hillbilly, make sure you watch some of those. But Kitty, Miss Kitty's history in our county and the county next to us is since the beginning, her family has been here. Her sixth grade grandpa or fifth grade grandpa was the first sheriff of our county. Her grandparents, uh, um, her grandma lived in council. And her grandpa lived um, on the outskirts of Cambridge, Washington County, and Adams County. And when they started dating, it was such a big deal that there was a write-up in the paper about it. <laughs> so, but anyway, so we get this book. And, you know, Miss Kitty's all, oh, I love it. Just like she says, I'm a little attached to it. <laughs> so she's looking at it, you know. And, I mean, obviously, because we collect Idaho, you know, everything. And she's looking through it, and lo and behold, her grandma wrote one of the stories in there. So this is my book. Yeah, so that was her. And then she's all, thank you, baby. I love you. I was king crap for about an hour. <laughs> and then it went away. Yeah. But anyway, so we got this 1974, which is pretty dang cool. You know, down in Boise. Not the back where your babies. Do you want me to hand these books to you? And then, uh, um, just to get them out of your way. Okay, and then, the, well, I'm just gonna kind of flip through. And then the Book of Rifles, Joseph Smith. Man, this is a kind of a cool, um, older one. I haven't really looked any of these up, but man, just a cool old Book of Rifles there. And then I always love the uh, Gold Fever. Go, 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 Fever. This is old uh, Gold Prospecting book. This one's actually uh, Nevada. Say garbage, jar it doesn't say bridge, just dark garbage. Some man, garbage mining, or I don't know. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. I ain't gonna show them all because man, I ended up getting what 25 to 30 bucks yeah. or more. Yeah. Relic, this one I have to show. This one I'm excited. Oh, I didn't realize it was a prize guide though, which is cool. But Relic Trails to Treasure, their Americana prize guide. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it almost looks like they were um, traveling and, well, there's and some they were good stuff. stuff. The... They wrote in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Which I always like that, man. People get all, oh man, there's writing in this book, man. But that's kind of like Miss Kitty that's when she gets a recipe book and it's got. A book with handwritten. Yeah, or handwritten, or it's got little slips in it and some of There's some cool stuff, Somebody rocker takes boxes. Somebody the time and stuff. to cut a recipe out of the newspaper and put it in their cookbook. It's probably a pretty good Pretty recipe. good, yeah, exactly. And then, just like, um, which the kids will pass it down because they'd like to steal it now, but like our Hot Springs book. Yeah. Because we came up on, in our Hot Springs book, you know, because the one summer we hit, what was it, 78, 78 natural hot springs in uh, mostly Idaho, yeah. but because uh, we have more hot springs than anywhere else in the state of the union, but we rate, did our own ratings on the hot springs in the book, so... Kids like that. That's native. Oh, this thing is pretty cool. I forgot about this. Pretty cool, man. Inlaid wood. Needs to be wiped off a little bit, but it's a. And then, oh, it's even got little things so it doesn't yeah. scratch the table. That's yeah. funny. But it's a little photo album, man. All made out of wood. I you thought can, that was. You can remove nifty. the front and back cover. Right, so you can yeah the, to make it thicker, so yeah, you can get you know whatever. But yeah, I thought you don't that. Like the picture pages. It's beautiful. Uh, updated one. Smells good too. We got cedar oh, on the back. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's look at a couple other. Of course, always the Native American stuff. Uh, headed west, south, historic trails in the southwest Wyoming, northern Paiute of California, Nevada, people of the marsh, uh, an old one from uh, Carson City, Nevada. So pretty uh, cool. At least this one I thought was kind of cool. I never looked. Ships and bottles. And it's actually how to uh, to do the sh put ships in the little bottles. It tells you that it gives you how to make the ships and how to put them in the bottles with the strings. You look at that. Mm -hmm. I did. Yeah, that's pretty dang cool. Yeah. I hadn't seen nothing like that. Cool. I know I get excited about my books because <laughs> they don't sell, man. So I just get to keep them. Yeah. <laughs> Bowers Mansion. I just had, thought that was cool, so I had to get it. Forward Churchill. Oh, this one, man. <laughs> I love it. 
passing of the outhouses. <laughs> of this stuff, dude. It's more a lot of Nevada stuff, man. We yeah. came up with quite a few Nevada Nevada trees. Um, ooh, the red light ladies in Nevada. <laughs> That's a she's a famous um, madam. Oh, she is. Julia. Oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. And then uh, Lovelock Cave. I had to get yeah. that because on when we got married, we were coming back and uh, man had our you know had a '79 Camaro and coming back from Lake Tahoe because we got married at Lake Tahoe and coming back, you know, and our the Camaro's all decorated up, you know, just married and the, all the hoorah and stuff. And we broke down in Lovelock, Nevada. <laughs> I, just always, I always get a kick out of that, man. Of all the places yeah. break down on your way back from your uh, wedding. That's a heck of a place. And the mines of Goldville, Bullfrog, and other southern Nevada districts. A lot of gold mines and stuff. I love that stuff. Oh, shoot. And then uh, Bureau of Land Management, Nevada. Immigrant trails in the Black Rock Desert. I love that stuff. See, that's the only thing I wish it was Idaho stuff. But Nevada stuff's cool too, man. A lot of good, a lot of good rock hand down in Nevada. Okay. All right, so that's um, I got more books and a few other items that will be on. That's what we'll be doing for the next few days. And what did you? Did you have some stuff you want to talk about? The MountainJunkers.com. Um, we're just still working through some things, changing some names. Um, of the spaces and so just be patient with us we're still having fun with it and enjoying um uh chatting right. in the chats um those are always fun the forums are are growing um so cool yeah and we want to make it you know you know we have you know i have my visions of what i want it to be and miss kitty has hers and papa mike has his and stuff and trying to put it all together and it it's not uh you know it's cool and it's coming along and stuff but not even close to what i'm you know, what I envision, you know, because I truly, and one of the things that we were discussing is calling the things, um, well, right now we got like your private little room or area or whatever, we're calling them uh, booths, mm -hmm. and a couple of my friends and me, and I actually mentioned it to Kitty, and she completely understood it too, was to me, being a, then I've been, I've done flea markets pretty much my whole life, you know, been around flea markets, auctions, everything, man, since my mom and dad used to take me in a stroller to the auctions, and to me, when I hear booth, and I actually had a couple of my flea market friends from, you know, that I'm still in contact with and stuff, said, hey, so man, I gotta get me a booth on your new site, man, I've seen you're gonna be selling some stuff, uh, you know, and I want to, I want to get in on that, man. I want to get me a booth. So then I had to explain to him that the booth wasn't where you were going to sell your stuff. So we've got to kind of figure that out because right. we're doing the tables. And to me, when we would go to a flea market, you know, which people always got a kick out of the booth and booth. Yeah. But, uh, um, but to me, when you go to a flea market, you know, you'd call up and say, yeah, I want to get me a booth. Or if it was... Some of the other shows we did, it was tables. So you'd rent table, you know, you'd rent per table, like table and stuff like that. Yeah. So tables and booths, to me, that's mm -hmm. that's where I'm at with it. I didn't wasn't planning on really. I mean, that's we just had this discussion, we're so working, it's fresh we're in my mind. Through that, yeah. and we, we we all three know that we want to change that. Um, the name. name. Yes, we're actually trying to come up with a name. And what that place is, explain what the. It's just a place, you know, like for your area of expertise. Like I had said on the last right. video, like. Uh, I use the example of Debbie. She does jewelry. She is really, um, she loves to buy the, the, the jars and go through them. And um, so that would be a really nice place for her to visit with other people that are into that same Yeah, thing. where they can go over there and that's, mm -hmm. you know, or, yeah. you know, coming yeah. over to, you know, mine to talk about rusty gold and yeah. fishing and if stuff. I'm, and if I'm looking for um, advice or to see how people put together their jewelry or what they do with it, I can then go into her space and see the conversations and talk to them and ask questions and very get good. information for myself, learn from them. Right, very good. Yeah. So we're working on it, man, so it's a work in progress, so please go over there and, uh, um, I want to say subscribe, but go over there and sign up for the uh, mountainjunkers.com. Please make sure and uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share Mountain Junkers YouTube. Man, i got to plug all this stuff, and in my mind goes, oh, oh dear, so much stuff. <laughs> But, uh, 
you know, we're getting the count up on this one, and we're actually talking, I'm not going to make the announcement of it yet, because we ain't quite figured out, but we're going to be doing a, a drawing for the Mountain Junkers here, um, you know, because we do the postcards over at Idaho Hillbilly, so we're going to come up with something different over here, so we'll figure that out, we'll keep you posted on that, do you have anything else? I do not, I need to start taking pictures. Yep, and she needs to start taking pictures, I need to finish getting the water and stuff in here, get some firewood in here, so that I can just sit here and eat bonbons or maybe dog treats <laughs> and get some stuff listed man so in your truck or uh wait man i gotta remember where i'm at dude <laughs> my mind is tough on this hill though. remember always keep your eye on the sky line, skyline and keep your nose to the wind and if you're out there treasure hunting hope you find color in the bottom of your pan see ya